My name is Jack Pollington. That's me pictured in the middle there. To the right of me is my dad, Mark, and to the left is our friend Richard. On the first weekend of July 2013, we took part in the JP Morgan Asset Management Round the Island Race, a 50 nautical mile race around the Isle of Wight in our 19 foot Cornish shrimper Polly. This is how it happened. What's our plan for the weekend? Okay, so it's Thursday night. We've just caught the tide out of Chichester Harbour and we're now sailing to the forts uh, to mooring cows on Friday. It should be sunshine, so it should be very pleasant. And uh, we're looking forward to a good, fast race around the island. But fast for a 19-foot boat like this is probably something like 11 or 12 hours. Okay, so we're trying to, we've made very good time into cows, two and a half hours from Hisk, and we're trying to find a mooring for the night. Unfortunately, uh, all the marina operators have gone to bed by the looks of it. sat in a pub enjoying a beer. Okay, so here we are at Cows. This is our starting line for tomorrow with the cannons. Um, 10 past 5 in the morning, 197 degrees. The cannon will go and we'll start sailing around the island race. Sorry, too many hands. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so, yeah, just come. And what's the format here? Okay, a pleasant uh, lunchtime island sailing club press conference. Uh, hearing about uh, the challenges of sailing around the island, etc., and weather forecast, and some famous people like Ellen MacArthur. Uh, we're now going to go and get our provisions and uh, get back on the boat. Okay. Good afternoon. It's Friday, the afternoon before the race. We're sat on a very hot day in Shepherd's Wharf, uh, just getting ready for. Um, Tomorrow morning, we've got an early start, four o'clock in the morning, so uh, we're going to do a bit of planning, get something to eat and have an early night tonight. Looking forward to tomorrow. Okay, it's half past three in the morning, uh, we're just getting up. The wind is blowing quite nicely by the looks of it, 15 knots at least. Uh, our start's five o'clock, uh, we need to slip the ropes in about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Report later. The start, well, things are getting pretty exciting now. Lots of boats in the uh, waiting area. Uh, first start goes in five minutes, we're following it in 15. Um, so we're just getting prepared. I'm just going to turn around and look at a boy. Try and see if we can find the name of the boy here. Okay, an hour into the race, uh, racing down the solar, we're going about eight knots with about two and a half knots tight underneath. There are quite a lot of boats around, and it's just getting quite exciting. 
Uh, everybody's getting the spinnaker up at the moment. We haven't got a spinnaker to get up. Uh, you can hear lots of sails flapping in the distance with other boats getting the spinnakers up and jostling for position. Watch your main, Richard. Play your main, Richard. Out. Okay. Well, we were behind uh, off the start with the rest of the shrimpers, but now we look like we're the leading shrimper at the moment, actually. How are we doing? Wind strengthened, the sea's pretty choppy, so it's a pretty exciting ride at the moment. We're going from, from the Needles to St Catherine's Point. Uh, lots of boats all around us, and sailing's pretty exciting. So it's just nine o'clock, we've been going for four hours, just coming to St Catherine's. Uh, it's been a really nice bit of breeze from the Needles and we've gone really fast. Uh, we're leading shrimper at the moment. Uh, nice bit of breeze. As you can see, for a very, very broad reach, should be coming up close reach and then a beat up to Benbridge Ledge. So uh, we've uh, come down uh, on a beat from St Catharines and we're heading to the Benbridge Mark. So we've just got to stand out a little bit to see to go around the mark and then we're going to come around and go past Ride Sands. So we're just getting our course for the to go around the outer mark on the uh, Benbridge Ledge. Okay, we're just going back past Benbridge for a final beat up the Solent uh, to the finish line. You can see we're getting quite close to Benbridge Port. Uh, it's going to beat all the way. It's been quite breezy considering the forecast was for not a lot of wind. Here we are. Just cross, we are just crossed Ride Sands. Um, it's a bit hairy. There were two boats aground, uh, including an old gaffer, which you've probably just seen, um, and we were just tacking out to miss the sands, and the gaffer started moving backwards on his motor, to give us a little bit of a hair-raising moment, but we're now clear, and we've got a clean sail into cows, so looking forward to a good finish. So we're just about to cross the line, just over 11 hours, really fantastic sail done amazingly well today and here we go 1618 let's stop quick 1618 it says on the clock So here we are after an epic 11 hour sail around the island, coming first in our division three of the Gaffer class, thanks to having been sailed all the way around by an expert crew. Superb main sheet and jib handling all the way. <laughs> Don't take it. <laughs> uh, here's to the crew. Cheers. The hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> Uh, the Foxhound Trophy. This is first gaffer in Division 3. Uh, we think he's here in his boat, Polly, Mark Pollington. There we are. A nice trophy. As we left cows for hailing, we all felt exhausted. It had been a tiring weekend but ultimately an enjoyable and successful one. Bring on next year.